Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's see. What's uh, happening now? Looks like Biden and Kamala have been confirmed as the president-elect and vice president-elect. We're all doomed, ladies and gentlemen. We're all doomed. Because let me give you a scenario of what's going to happen. All right, Joe Biden has already said on record, on video, audio, and everything, that he's going to raise taxes. Now, he's tweeted all over the place that he's not going to raise taxes on anyone making $400,000 or more. So I kind of think that's a load of crap. But anyway, uh, he said that on day one, he was going to repeal the tax cuts that Trump put in. Uh, so that means that everybody's taxes are going up, especially the middle class. Because when Trump enacted those tax cuts, I noticed my paycheck got bigger. Not a whole lot bigger, but it got bigger. It was uh, The tax cuts helped me a, a pretty good amount. And so when, the, when he repeals the tax cuts, that's going to raise everybody's taxes. Not just the middle class, not just the rich people, everybody. <sighs> and he also said that he's going to enact a $15 an hour minimum wage nationwide. Now, what that is going to do is destroy our economy. Because here's what's going to happen. If minimum wage goes up to $15 an hour, small businesses are going to be crippled. Because mom and pop stores and other types of restaurants and other types of small businesses are not going to be able <clears throat> to afford to pay their employees $15 an hour. So they're going to either have to drastically cut hours or they're going to have to fire people or they're going to just go out of business which is going to leave nothing but the big corporations, Walmart, Target, Food Lion, Amazon, all of them. So no more small businesses, no more mom and pop stores, just nothing but big corporations. And then even the big corporations are going to fire people because they're looking at their bottom line and if they have to pay burger flippers at McDonald's $15 an hour, they're going to go automated. They're going to put little kiosks up and they're not going to have anybody but people in the back cooking. Uh, no tellers or anything like that. So that's going to put people out of work. So unemployment is going to skyrocket if that happens. And for those companies that actually are able to keep people employed, they're going to have to pass that on to the customers by raising prices to be able to pay their people $15 an hour. So goods and services are going to, prices of goods and services are going to increase. So that's going to hurt at the grocery store. It's going to hurt at the gas pump. It's going to hurt everywhere. And he has also said that he's going that, uh, and I quote in his one of his speeches, there's no place in the Biden administration for fossil fuels, which means he is going to cripple our oil and gas and coal industries. So what that is going to mean is gas prices are going to go up because we're going to have to start buying our oil from foreign countries again. And you know that after all these years of being energy independent, not having to buy oil from Saudi Arabia and OPEC, they are going to price gouge the crap out of us, and gas is going to go up to five, six, seven, eight dollars a gallon. That is going to hurt bad. And uh, oil, oil prices are going to go up, gas, diesel, everything. And if diesel, of course, diesel prices goes up, that means that the cost of shipping is going to go up which is also going to be passed on to the customers because if the cost of transporting goods and services increases, then the cost of those goods and services are also going to increase. So again, it's going to hurt at the grocery store. It's going to hurt at the gas pump. It's going to hurt everywhere. All the prices are going to go up on everything. And again, it's going to cripple our economy. So, oh God, what are we going to do? It's going to be... We're going to have massive unemployment. We're going to have unbelievable gas prices. It's just going to go completely through the roof. And our country is going to become a third world country before it's over with. And when all the prices and everything go up, the government's going to go, oh, we'll give you handouts. We'll give you this. We'll give you that. And who's going to pay for all that? We are, the taxpayers. So... I'm just, I'm worried. I'm worried 
I'm worried sick about this. I'm, it, it's, I don't know what to do because I live paycheck to paycheck. My family, I mean, we, we survive and we have, you know, everything we need, house, cars, and all that good stuff, but dang, we live paycheck to paycheck. And a lot of people do that. And those paycheck to paycheck people are gonna be hurting bad when this happens. So, y'all wanted this. Y'all Democrats and liberals, y'all wanted this. And now when it happens, you're gonna be crying. And I'm gonna be laughing. Even though I'm probably gonna go bankrupt and be homeless, I'm gonna be laughing at you idiots who voted for that moron in Kamala. Ugh, but anyway. So, man, that's about all I got for today. So, uh, if I think of anything else, I'll rant some more. So, again, live long and prosper, ladies and gentlemen, and pray to the good Lord that we somehow get out of this alive.